In the previous lecture, we saw the working of JFET when VGS gate to source voltage was equal to 0 volt and VDS drain to source voltage was equal to VDD where VDD is some positive voltage. Now in this presentation, we will discuss pinch off voltage. But first, we will discuss what we have learned in the last lecture. The gate terminal and the source terminal are having the same potential. Because of this, VGS is equal to 0 volt. VGS is equal to VG minus VS. When VG is same as VS, the potential difference is equal to 0 volt. So I will connect the gate terminal to the source terminal and I will connect ground to the source. VDS is equal to VDD where VDD is some positive voltage. So I will connect the positive terminal of the battery. This is the positive terminal of the battery to the drain terminal and the negative terminal and negative terminal to the source terminal and this voltage source is equal to VDD which is equal to VDS and as soon as VDS is introduced in the circuit the electrons present in the N channel will drift towards the drain and because of this reason the drain current ID is induced in this circuit. Now we will discuss the effect on the depletion region. We are having N channel JFET and in N channel JFET P type material is embedded in the N type material and because of this two depletion regions are also formed. This N channel is providing resistance to current ID so we can consider the N channel as four resistances connected in series. This four resistances are same and they are equal to R, small r. So equivalent resistance is equal to 4R and let's say VDD is equal to 2 volts. So 2 volts are divided across 4R or we can say drop across resistance R is equal to 0 0.5 volts. 2 volt is the potential at this point and at this point the potential is equal to 1.5 volt because 0 0.5 volt is the drop across this resistance. So 0 0.5 subtracted from 2 volt is equal to 1.5 volt. In the same way at this point the potential is equal to 1 volt. At this point the potential is 0 0.5 volt and at this point it is equal to 0 volt. So this is how the potential is distributed across the N channel. You can connect this terminal here and this terminal here. So this whole arrangement will go in the N channel. And we can say that at this point the potential is equal to 1.5 volts, 1.5 volts and at this point the potential is equal to 0 0.5 volts, 0 0.5 volts. Now if we talk about the PN junction formed between this P type material and the N type material, it is reverse biased because here the potential is equal to 0 volt and at this point the potential is equal to 1.5 volt. So P type material is connected to the low potential and the N type material is on the high potential. So the PN junction is reverse biased. Because of this reason the width of depletion layer will increase at the top and it will remain almost same at the bottom. It is almost same at the bottom because potential here is equal to 0 0.5 volt. So the reverse biasing potential is not high at the bottom. So depletion layer will increase at the top and it will remain almost same at the bottom. So this was the small revision of the last lecture and now we will start with pinch off voltage. 
on increasing VDS the current ID will also increase on increasing VDS ID the drain current will also increase and also the width of depletion region if VDS is increased to a level where it appears that the two depletion regions are touching each other the condition is called as pinch off and the corresponding voltage VDS is called as pinch off voltage I will revise this point again on increasing VDS the width of depletion layer will also increase and if VDS is increased to a level where it appears that the two depletion regions are touching each other the condition is called as pinch off pinch off and the corresponding voltage VDS is called as pinch off voltage when you see the two depletion regions it will look like a pinch so what is a pinch we will first discuss the word pinch pinch is an act of gripping an object or substance between two fingers from the shown figure it is very easy to understand what is a pinch pinch is an act of gripping an object or substance between two fingers and when you see the two depletion regions you will find it is like a pinch and because of this reason we call VDS pinch of voltage pinch of voltage is denoted by VP pinch of voltage is denoted by V subscript P from the word pinch off it seems current ID current ID is pinched is pinched off between the two depletion regions and reduced to 0 amps but it is not true in reality the two depletion regions will never touch each other the channel is still there but the width is very small and because of this reason the current density will increase now what is the reason because of which these two depletion regions are not touching each other the reason is the cause the cause is voltage drop across these resistances and the voltage is dropping across these resistances because of current ID and when these two depletion regions will touch each other ID will become zero ID will become zero amps and when ID will become zero amps drop across resistance R will also become zero and when drop will become zero potential here is equal to zero volts so N side is connected to zero volt P side is also connected to zero volt so the PN junction is not reverse biased and hence the width of depletion region will not increase so this is the reason because of which the two depletion regions will never touch each other now we will plot the graph between current ID and voltage VDS y axis is current ID and x axis is voltage VDS and we are plotting this graph when VGS is equal to 0 volts initially on increasing VDS current ID will increase linearly like this the current will increase linearly and when VDS is equal to VP the pinch of voltage let's say this voltage here is the pinch of voltage so when VDS is equal to VP current ID will become constant current ID will become constant and this constant current we will call IDSS the resistance in this portion of the plot is constant resistance is constant and if you see the resistance after VP when VDS is greater than VP the resistance is equal to infinity because plot is having slope slope equal to 0 and resistance is 1 by slope so resistance is equal to infinity so this is the plot between ID and VDS now we will discuss few important points first we will talk about IDSS what is IDSS and why do we call it IDSS IDSS is the maximum drain current this is very very important point 
RDSS is the maximum drain current for a JFET and we can define it as the drain current when VGS, VGS is equal to 0 volt and VDS, VDS is greater than mod of pinch voltage. So these are the two conditions defining the current IDSS. It is the maximum drain current and we are representing this current as IDSS because this is the current from drain to source. You can see ID is the current from drain to source because of this reason we call it IDS drain to source and this S stands for the reason VGS is equal to zero. The source is short circuited, the input side is short circuited. So the second S is for VGS equal to zero. So this is the reason for calling this current IDSS. Now there is one question. What will happen if you increase VDS beyond VP? What will happen to the depletion layer and to the drain current when you increase VDS beyond VP? This is the homework problem for you. You can easily find out effect on ID from this plot and from the explanation I have given, you can also find out effect on depletion layer. So this is all for this lecture. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.